Gabrielle Zevin's book Tomorrow, and Tomorrow, and Tomorrow was published in 2022. It was rated the best book of 2022 by Amazon. In a hospital, Samson, Sam Masser and Sadie Green first cross paths. While Sam, 12, is receiving care for his broken foot, Sadie, 11, is at the hospital because her sister, Alice, is receiving cancer treatment. Sam was involved in a terrible accident that took Anna Lee, his mother. The horrified Sam hasn't uttered a word to anybody since getting to the hospital. Because of their mutual love of video games, Sam breaks his silence with Sadie, and the two rapidly become best friends. They are torn apart by a cruel misunderstanding, and they don't see one another for many years until Sam runs into Sadie at a Boston subway station in 1996. Sadie is a computer science major at MIT, whereas Sam is a student at Harvard. They pick off where they left off as Sam reaches out to Sadie. Sam recommends they create a video game together since Sadie is an excellent game designer and Sam is an expert at making mazes and riddles. Thus, the groundbreaking video game Ichigo is introduced, the result of their creative partnership. The two establish unfair games with the aid of Marks Watanabe, Sam's affluent and kind roommate. Sam and Sadie are similar in many respects, but they also understand each other's thoughts and enjoy working together. Sam is half Korean and has always had to work hard for his money, whereas Sadie comes from a privileged, white, Jewish family. Dong Yun and Bong Cha Lee, his Korean grandparents, raised him when his mother passed away. George Masser, his father, is absent. Sam's foot, which was broken in an accident when he was a little boy, also needs regular surgery. Sadie struggles with sexism as a woman in computing in the 1990s despite coming from a wealthy household. She alters her demeanor to be acceptable by a male-dominated audience and profession since her excellent work is often ignored. Despite the popularity of Ichigo, Sam and Sadie's artistic visions diverge. Sadie believes Sam is purposefully attempting to steal her thunder because she is marginalized by the media and gamers alike due to the male-dominated nature of the gaming industry. Sam, who has always struggled with money, prefers to concentrate on games that are more likely to be successful economically but Sadie also wants to create innovative, high-concept games. Sadie's gendered upbringing to be accommodating causes her to routinely comply with Sam's requests. There is little doubt that Sadie and Sam really love one another despite their regular arguments. When Sam has his foot amputated urgently and Sadie develops a toxic connection with her old professor, they each decide to relocate to California for the other. Sam, Sadie, and Marx open an office in Venice, Los Angeles, and Sadie and Marx fall in love while Sam has his amputation. Games like Counterpart High and Mapleworld become huge blockbusters as unfair games gains popularity. When Sam finds out about Sadie and Marx's romance, he is immensely upset. Sam believes Marx robbed him and Sadie of any chance of a romantic future they could have had. Sadie is enraged with Sam because of his rude conduct. Sam has been redefining himself after having his leg amputated. He changes his name to Mazer and has been vocal about his liberal political ideas. Contrary to the severe marriage regulations, Sam allows marriages between people of any gender in his game, Mapleworld. They go on a promotional tour for their new game, Master of Revels, where Sam finally comes to terms with Sadie and Marx's relationship. The couple are now expecting a child. Two armed men invade the Unfair Games headquarters in Venice while Sadie and Sam are abroad in New York because they want to harm Sam for encouraging intersex marriages. Marx attempts to defuse the tense situation but the assailants shoot him as he tries to defend the workers. Due to his wounds, Marx passes away. 
Sam and Sadie experience severe sadness upon Marx's passing. Sam is still able to function, while Sadie, who just lost her life partner, isolates herself from everyone. She gives birth to Naomi Watanabe Green, her daughter, and experiences postnatal depression. Sam secretly creates and releases a game he knows Sadie would want to play after realizing there is no other way to get through to her. Sadie is unaware that Sam created Pioneers. When she starts playing the game, her character marries Sam's avatar on a platonic basis. Sadie feels duped and betrayed as she finds she has been playing games with Sam the whole time. She fully cuts off communication with Sam and relocates to Boston to teach advanced games at MIT. Even though Sadie and Sam seem to be at odds with one another, their relationship remains strong. Sadie is no longer upset with Sam as she starts to get over her sadness about losing marks. She attends the memorial ceremony for Dong Yun, Sam's adored grandpa. After five years, the friends eventually get together in New York for a business presentation. Sam confesses to Sadie that he believed she had never asked him out on a date due to his disabilities and Asian ancestry. Sadie assures Sam that it wasn't the case. Romantic relationships are frequent, and what they have is extraordinary. This is why she didn't ask Sam out. Sam and Sadie spend the evening partaking in their preferred pastime, playing video games, as the book comes to a conclusion. Sam receives a notion for a brand new game that they can create together from Sadie before they part ways. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.